Even today, there are funeral traditions that are customary to whatever part of the world that you are in. It can be a bit shocking and surprising when we look back at the customs from yesteryear. It can also be amazing to see just how superstitious people were back in the day and Honestly, some of these practices haven't been out of the mainstream for very long, so I thought it would be a fun little video to check out some of the customs that used to be in practice. I want you all to be very interactive on this in the comments. Please be so kind as to let us know if you all have practiced or heard any of these customs. Also, let us know of any customs that you all use today. I think that would be very interesting. Nowadays, for the most part, we use funeral homes. Even as cremations and other alternate burials become popular, most use funeral homes to help us process that. Back in the day, even though funeral home services assisted, the funerals and visitations were held in the homes of the deceased. It was a public affair. Once word began spreading through the community about the death, people began trickling to the home, and neighbors would bring food to the family. That actually still takes place in Kentucky where I'm from, and that's mostly to take the burden of trying to prepare a meal away from the already huge plate of worries for the family. In addition to the house being used for the funeral, all drapes and shutters were closed, and a heavy black fabric would be attached to the doorknob or the door knocker. And the tradition of flowers? Well, those were to cover up any unwanted stench. It was also taught that you never wear anything new to a funeral, especially shoes. In addition to all of this, the body was never left alone. Someone would stand watch all day and night until burial. When someone would die in the home, whoever was there would stop any clock in the house. Do you remember stopping the clock after a death? This was a superstition to ward off any bad luck. And speaking of superstitions, I think I failed to realize just how superstitious our ancestors were. Another funeral tradition from years gone by, when bodies were removed from houses, they would be carried out feet first. Why? So they could not look back into the house and encourage others to join them in death. Ready for another superstition? When someone died, it was believed that the next person to look in the mirror would be the next to die. Makes me wonder just how long people would hold out without looking in the mirror. Now this worry was one that plagued a lot of people. The fear of being buried alive. And there are some credible stories about people supposedly being buried alive. Actually one of the most credible comes from my home state of Kentucky. Check out my video about Octavia Hatcher. There were requests by people to make sure they were left above ground for a few days after death and don't lock or screw down the casket lid. There are even reports of people having strings lowered into the casket with a bell attached to the other end, so a shake of the finger would let those above know that someone was still alive. And speaking of burial, people believed that those who lived a good life would have flowers grow on the grave, and those that did not would have nothing but weeds. I plan to do more videos like this in the future, and if you all will leave me some traditions that you all either practice or may have heard of from yesteryear, they may be included in a future video. I love doing these types of videos. It gets people talking, and I love hearing from everybody. Another video of mine will be on the screen soon. It is my hope that you will watch it. I'm also going to leave links to my website and Patreon in the description. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.